you love the content on my channel, please consider checking out my Patreon link down below. It would really help out my channel and you get really awesome rewards and prizes as well. Hey you guys, it's Coffee, and today we are going to be going over the brand new town in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, Brindleton Bay. Before we jump in, I do want to give a quick shout out to EA to thank them for providing me with this early access copy of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs to review and give my thoughts on. Uh, that is not in any way going to change my opinion whether I love this or hate this. I will give you my honest opinion. I have avoided every single spoiler at all costs for this pack uh, or this expansion pack because I wanted it all to be genuine and true first impressions. This is the first time I'm seeing this map and I'm really excited to go into it with you. We're going to go over every single location on the map and I'm going to show you around. So first and foremost, this is gorgeous. I love the layout of this. This island area feels a little bit like Windenburg, but I don't hate that. It doesn't look like there's a house there though. I'm not sure what this is yet, but um, I'm going to first go ahead and do a little bit of reading and see what's here. So we have Sable Square. It says the cultural center of the city, Sable Square is ideal for both cats and dogs. These people love their pets so much they've built a monument to them right in the middle of the town. Okay, that's really cool. And then coming over here, there's Cavalier Cove. Cav yeah, I think that's how you say that. Known for its hiking trails and sprawling coastal properties, Cavalier Cove is the perfect place to go exploring or chase seagulls with an adventurous pup. Oh, that's cute. All right, and then we have Whiskerman's Wharf, a favorite hangout of the Bay's feline citizens who can often be found climbing around down at the docks. Whiskerman's Wharf is also enjoyed by fishermen and tourists alike. And then we also have this dead grass isle, which this is the one I was talking about, reminding me a little bit of Windenburg. Uh, once the site of the mysterious shipwreck, a dead grass isle is now home to the world famous Brindleton Light and the city's largest population of indigenous strays. Lately, however, there have been some rumors about strange visitors after sundown. That just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> I'm so excited to explore these places. I'm going to go ahead and start with Sable Square and we're just going to go through all of these lots. Uh, so we're going to start with Hecking which I believe this is our first uh, homosexual couple that like actually is just in the game, which is really cool. I'm pretty sure anyways, let me... Okay, so immediately from the outside view, there is this lovely little house. It looks really nice. I love the roofing. I think this might be part of the new pack, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if we had roofing like this. I'm pretty sure that these triangle-like roofs, roofs are new, but um, I'm just going to kind of pan around the outside. We're going to take a look. This one is called It's a Good House, I believe, and the backyard's pretty empty. I wish I had read the little description about them, but I didn't know where to find it. So um, let's actually zoom out and take a look at this whole area. Oh my gosh. <gasps> There's cows. I doubt those are real. Those are probably like little fake. Do they move? Uh, I don't think so. They are dead stopped cows. Okay. Good to know. The cows do not move. Uh, looks like there's some planes. Oh, that's cool. Like a little airport. This reminds me of the Sims 3 Appaloosa Plains, if you guys are familiar. Uh, that's probably another house that we're going to get to explore. There's like a big old town central area, a park. Like this is, this is nice. This gives me Sims 3 feels, but in like a good way. So that's cool. I actually don't know if this is the couple, but I know that there's a gay couple that uh, is debuting in this. And I'm pretty sure it's for the first time ever. I don't think the Sims has ever done that. So I think that's really cool. And really like, that's just awesome. You guys know that I support that on my channel. So I think that's really awesome. All right. So going into the first floor, we're just going to kind of do like a top down view, I guess. I haven't looked at any of the build items for this game yet. So everything I see that looks new is probably new. Um, so it looks like we have a nice dining area, a little living area, a beautiful kitchen. I love the way that this is designed. We have, it looks just kind of like a foyer. I'm living for these rugs. They feel very family aesthetic, if that makes any sense. It looks like there's a study area. Area. I like that couch. I think that's new bathroom. And then we already kind of took a look at the backyard. Let's head upstairs a floor. I'm living for the shape of this house too. I think it looks really cool. So 
looks like there's a pretty big hallway. I'm a little disappointed with all the empty space right here. Um, I think I would have liked to have seen the inside of this done slightly differently, but I'm not a very good builder, so who am I to critique? <gasps> this window seat right here. This is the first time I'm seeing this uh, out of like a trailer. Like I've seen it in the trailer and that's it. This is really snazzy. I cannot wait to build like epic bay windows. I'm just saying. So it looks like there's a bedroom, another bathroom, which I feel like you should always have a guest bathroom or like a guest one downstairs. And then if there is an upstairs, like another one, that's just nice. So people don't have to go tripsy trapping all over your house to find a bathroom. And then it looks like there's a secondary study. So so these guys are obviously about their own personal office spaces and that's it. Again, I really would have loved to have seen what it said about them. Maybe we can find it from the main area. I'll take it. Okay, here we go. I found it. Hecking. Life in their new house seems to agree with the newlyweds, Brent and Brant. Oh, wow. Their names. I love it. The small town at Bustle inspires Brent's painting and Brant loves to explore the Bay's beautiful neighborhoods. But will they ever agree on who gets to take their beloved Rosie with them? Wait. Oh, I get it. Okay. I was like, wait, what? I'm so confused. That's adorable. I love this. All right. When I said I'm going to go over every area, I meant like the actual lots. I probably won't go over any of the empty ones. I just don't think there's a point. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to go into build for this one. Okay, just as I predicted, this is the next door house that we could see from the other house. This is the Domus Familiaris. Uh, it's beautiful. It reminds me of a beach house. I think it's gorgeous. I love the design of the outside. Uh, hopefully this will give me some really good inspiration to get to building some houses and the inside. I love this. I love the wood. This wood actually looks new to me. I don't think I've seen it before. Looks like we have a small little seating area. Is this a dog bed? What is this? <gasps> it is cute. Uh, we have a little kitchen area. So this house is a little more, I feel like it's not as up to date as the other one. Like it just doesn't look quite as nice, but the outside to me is a little bit nicer. Oh my gosh, this door. Is this new? That's got to be new. That door is beautiful. So front door looks like the, I don't really enjoy that there's no fence. What it like my house doesn't have a fence either. IRL. What is with people not giving fences? Like definitely needs a fence. <laughs> Maybe they were trying to hit a budget though. Looks like there's a study um, as well as a little tiny bathroom. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Oh, it's a two bed. Very nice with another little bathroom up here. And I think that's it. Okay, super cute. I would love to give this home a decor makeover. Let me know in the comment section if that's something you'd like to see. All right, up next, we're going to go to Pupperstone Park, which it looks like it does have a lot trait of being dog friendly. That's really cool. Okay, so from a far away view, it looks like it's pretty decently sized. Um, it looks like there's a little trick area that you can teach your, I assume, cat or dog tricks on. But since, yeah, there's little cats on it. But since this is a dog-friendly park, I would assume that maybe cats wouldn't be the best option to come here. But I have no idea. I haven't played yet. And it looks like there's an area for kids as well. Oh, look how cute this is. What is that over there? Is that like a, is that a clinic? That might be the vet clinic over there. I bet you it is. Um, the middle area of this is so cute. Look at these like statues. I bet you, you can get these in build mode. This is really nice. Really, really, really nice. It's a food stall over there. Oh, are these foxes or dogs? I don't even know. These are super cute. Those benches are cute. Wait, where'd it go? These little, oh, right here, look it. I don't know if those are new or not, but they're super cute. <clears throat> There's a little public restroom, a little chess area, and that's it. And lastly in this area, we have the Brittleton Pospital. <laughs> that's a really cute play on names. Like I said, it was probably what we saw across the street. So I'm really excited to go and check this out. Oh my gosh, look at their scrubs. These are super cute. They got little paws on them. Again, I haven't played the game, so I'm not like super aware, but let's actually, let's get a view of the outside of this. Also, I apologize if you can hear any ruckus. My animals are currently running around, but I feel like it just kind of adds to the ambiance of the whole thing. So this is the outside view. Let's actually go up a little bit and take a look. Oh my gosh, look at the water behind it. <gasps> I wish that was a real house right there. That's really, really, really cool. I'm living for it. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and actually go. Oh my gosh, my animals right now. Sorry, guys. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. So down here, it looks like there's, what is this? It's a check-in. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so there's a check-in. Somebody's already here. There's a little food bowl, like an auto feeder, it looks like. There is a couple of bathrooms, a washroom. And then it looks like just basic animal testy type places. Wow, this is really cool. All right, and then they do have a little outdoor area, which is pretty neat. I, I think it would have been cool to have like a play place back here or like a a place for training, but I don't even know if that's necessary because I haven't played, so I don't know. <laughs> How many times can I say that in one video? I think that, oh wait, was there an upstairs or was that just for... Okay. Yeah. That was just for decoration, like just based on how it looks there. All right. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to find out what it's like to run a vet vet's office and everything. Cause I haven't done it yet. Okay. We're going to go ahead and head over to Cavalier Cove. And first we're going to go to this Delgado Del yeah, Delgado house. So let's actually find out what that's about first. Well, spray, spraying, surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Loves her full time job as a stay at home mom. It's been getting harder and harder to suppress her dreams of being a full fledged veterinarian, especially now that the owner of the Brindleton Hospital is looking to sell the business. Her husband Justin has always been supportive and keeps offering to take a break from work so she can follow her dream. But now surprise really trust him to keep the peace wait but can Sapria really trust him to keep the peace at home between blue and Bartholomew Barth Bartholomew not to mention Pierce and Evie too so my guess is they're talking about these animals that's funny really cool really clever I love whoever writes these I forget I probably have met them um let's go ahead and take a look Wow, this is what it looks like from the outside. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is a beautifully done house. Um, so just kind of looking around the outside, I just want to take a peek into the backyard really quick. Oh my gosh, look at this view. This view is incredible. They do have a pool, but other than that, it looks like the backyard is pretty bare. Let's go ahead and actually, oh my gosh. See, this reminds me of Windenburg as well with the cliffside views. I don't hate it though. I think this is beautiful. You can see the lighthouse from here. Wow. Wow. This place is so beautiful. I am living for it. All right. Let's go ahead and drop down. Oh, is this an, no. Okay. First, I thought it was an empty house. Okay. So there's no basement, but who I'm loving the interior of this house. I love a really bright, well, like lit space. Ugh, my dream home would be modern and really bright and like well lit. Uh, anyways, it looks like, Ooh, is this, what is this? This is a fireplace. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. There's a big painting, a bookshelf, a little stool. It looks like a seating area over here. What is this? some kind of like toy crate, I assume. I don't even know. <laughs> it looks like we also have this cat tree. I've been waiting to see one of those. Another window seat, uh, a secondary seating area. This one looks more like a family styled room. And then that one's like um, the living room, I think as they call that. And then there's a little dining area here. Guys, I'm getting the Sims 3 feels so hard with this pack. I don't know why. I just, it, it's a good thing though. Like it's a really good thing. The Sims 3, I, I mean, I feel like they're both different games and it's hard not to compare them, but it's like, I feel the Sims 3 in a good way. <laughs> um, looks like there's also a little dining area down here. And what was this? A bathroom? A bathroom. Yeah, it's bathroom. Okay. That's weird that there's no shower, but there's like, oh, wait, it's a bathroom and like a, it's like it wants to be a laundry room, but it's not. <laughs> I'm so confused. Maybe that's like a place that like other countries have those, but we don't. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this like a practice? Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. All right, there's a little study down there. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. There's a bedroom here, living for those rugs, a big bathroom, another big bathroom, a bedroom, a bedroom, a playroom, living for the floor. Um, there's a lot of open space. Like you could really embellish on this house for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and go up a floor. Okay, and then it looks like there's a totally empty like 
attic upstairs floor. Yeah, this house could really be embellished on a lot more. And I really like it. I think it's a really nice house. It really does give me all the Sims 3 feels in the best way possible. Okay, we're going to head over to the Brend, the Bedlington Boathouse. Um, we're going to go into build mode because nobody lives there. So the view from this house is beautiful. Look at how it sits kind of up on this cliff. There's a little park. It looks like next to it. This is gorgeous. It looks like maybe it'd be a really great starter home. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump down. Okay, there's no basement. My bad. It looks like there is a very, it seems like a place that would be a starter home. I appreciate this. I love that it's called a boathouse too. I think that's really cute and clever. There's a living room, a dining room, a really small kitchen, a bathroom, and then my guess is it's going to be a bedroom up here. Yep, and it's kind of more loft style, like there's no doors. And then there's even room for a desk. This is a really good size, nice house. Um, what is the pricing on this like? Yeah, it's a total starter home. That's really nice. That's, you get like a lot of bang for your buck. I might have to use this one in my LP. That's a cute house. Okay, and next we're going to go to the Hound's Head, which I'm not sure which house. This one's on a larger lot, so we're going to just go see what this is about. All right, this is what the lot looks like from out here. I love how it's up on this like hill. It looks very fancy. There's a driveway. It's got a big pool in the back and the view again is breathtaking. Absolutely wonderful and gorgeous. I love this. Let's go ahead and take a peek on the inside. It looks like we have again, a very nice little seating area. So cute, so cute. Uh, a chess piano. Um, it looks like there's almost like an indoor atrium type thing. That's, I love that, bringing the outside inside. A bathroom, there is, is this a bar? There's a bar and a little dining area. There's a kitchen, of course. Every home needs one, wouldn't be complete without it. I love how integrated pets feel in every single one of these houses. I would say the only thing so far is I've noticed the houses are very empty. Like there's just a ton of space for what they are. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Extremely empty up here too. There's a bedroom, a bathroom, another bedroom, another bedroom, another bathroom, a kid's room. Wait, what's that? Okay, it's just a dresser. And maybe like a storage room there. Go ahead and, yeah, that's it, wow. It's a really big old mansion house though. I think it's really, like the outside architecture of every single house so far has been, has like blown my mind every time. <laughs> okay, we finished this area. We're going to go ahead and go check out the Dead Grass Discoveries Museum, which is the only thing over here. I'm pretty excited to go take a little peek at this, and I'm actually going to visit it with the sim that we created earlier. We'll bring her dog, um, Herman Lemons, apparently. I just randomized everything for this. Okay, so this is the museum from the outside. Look at this view, you guys. Oh, there's like, this is so beautiful and the boats over here this is beyond oh there's a bathroom outside it looks like I kind of want to come over here oh my gosh look at this lighthouse this is this is everything um, and it's been rumored I haven't tried it for myself but it's been rumored that this lighthouse you're able to woohoo in it. I don't know if that's the truth or not. I, and don't spoil it for me. I'll get to it. Well, probably by the time you guys can comment, I'll have already tried it, but like, so you could say whatever, but I'm pretty sure you can woohoo in that lighthouse. So let's go ahead and take a look down here. Oops. There we go. I don't really, there we go. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's got like some cool little outside decor. Do you guys see that? This like netting decor. That's really cool. Everything is very like sea shanties and I, I like it. So it looks like they just have, ooh, new pictures. <gasps> these are so cool. Look at these photos. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to go to build mode. <laughs> There's a little like display case of the island. Oh my gosh. Oh, people with their pets. Cats are the best. Um, looks like there's places to sit, um, a little place to dine, get some coffee or tea or what have you. Let's go ahead and head up. Is there anything upstairs or is that, oh, there is stuff up here. Oh, look, there's like a little art room up here. Okay. An art room and three baños or bathrooms. <laughs> and nothing up here nothing up here 
just a little secret. Uh, so that was really cool. I like that. I can't wait to like use this as a date place for my Sims. Also, I forgot to read this to you guys. It says, almost after two centuries as the lighthouse's keeper's private home, this property was converted into a mu museum chronicling the bay's interesting maritime, ma maritime, 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 I don't know how to say that, history when a new aut automated system was installed in the Brittleton Light. All right. Interesting. All right. So we know that little secret. Uh, was there anything on these houses? Oh, there is. The largest property in Brittle, Brittleson Bay with its very own private beach. Hound's Head was housed a very rich and powerful pets and their owners through the ages. Wow. I didn't realize there were little... Okay, we read that one. What did this one say? Tucked away between the expensive mansions of Cavalier Cove is the humble little cottage. Nothing says beach access like living right on the beach. That's really cool. Um, and then I think we already... Did we read this one? Um, the state-of-the-art facility offers the very best in pet care for your sick baker or me barker or meower. Rumor has it its owner is preparing for retirement soon and it is interested in selling the place to a young aspiring vet. That's really cool. So yeah, sorry we didn't read these while we were going through. A charming classic. Hey guys, want to relax? Sorry, the cats, they just ate and after they eat, like most people are like, oh yeah, my pets are chill and they go to sleep after they eat. No, mine are like riled up like crazy and they chase each other from the front to the back of the house. <laughs> A charming classic home steps away from the heart of Sable Square, Domus Familiaris, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry, is the ideal abode for a new family moving to the bay. That's cool. I think we read the other ones. All right. Let's go ahead and check out this last area, which is the Whiskerman's Wharf, which is definitely the more cat domain, I would say. This one is Ragdoll Reefer. Let's read what this one has to say. Once a part of the pet food cannery next door, this warehouse has since been converted into a stellar two-story home. Oh, that sounds awesome. Let's go. Okay, so I'm definitely getting some city living vibes right here. This reminds me of the wharf from like where you can live right under the bridge in city living and i think that's really cool it looks like there's even is there a bridge over there no those are boats okay i was gonna say are they like trying to act like these are maybe connected but because like they have this fish area and this like it's just another like wharf based place so that kind of reminds me of it but um in any case let's go ahead and take a look at this house since we've kind of already peered around it uh I, houses like this are not my favorite i don't really like it when there's just like brick around them i prefer like streets there's a house like this in Windenburg, a few of them, and they're not my favorite. Uh, the inside of this house, however, I think is my favorite thus far. Very industrial looking, and I appreciate that. There's a sitting area here, a lovely kitchen, loving these bar stools. Um, that's, is that it? Oh, and there's like this really wide open windowed space thing. That's kind of cool. It's like a sunroom. And then if you go upstairs, it looks like there's more of that. That's really cool. It's like, again, bringing the outside inside. I think that's genius. There's a bedroom, a little closet, and a bathroom up here. So it's a very lavish two-story home. If this were... Oh, this feels very beachy, though. This is like a beach... This is like beach houses that I've seen. I imagine this was really good for the team to do that, like, helped out in San Francisco because it is, like, a Bay Area. So that's really cool. I bet they took a lot of inspiration. All right. This but. says Lynx, and it says that it's a cat hangout. Let's go ahead and read this. There are four cats and a woman. I'm feeling crazy cat lady vibes, and I love it. Cats in the neighborhood know where to go for a good meal. Katrina's always had a soft spot for animals and... and um, it's actually, it's Katarina's, sorry, not Katrina. Katarina's always had a soft spot for animals and the cats she lives with have the best home a cat could ask for. Sometimes Katarina asks herself if there's something more to life than cats, usually right before she adopts another stray. <laughs> That's really funny. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and check out Katrina's house. Okay. So this is Katrina's house or sorry, Katarina's house. This is beautiful. I love this. Even though it's got that surrounding thing that I was just talking about, I love that it feels like it's literally on like a pier. And it kind of is. Like this, I like it more than the position of that house. This house is super fantastic. I think it'd be really cool for pictures of houses too. Like if you, well, maybe it's too much in the back. I don't know. I like it either way. Beautiful location. We didn't really look around too much last time. So let's get a little bit of a pan 
around. Oh my gosh, look at how the streets go up. This is totally San Francisco vibes. I am loving this. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a peek inside. So it looks like on the first floor, I love how it's a cat house, but she has a dog like rug right outside. There is a lovely little seating area. It looks like there's lots of cat furniture. There's a kitchen um, another little bathroom. And if you come upstairs again, more cat furniture, uh, the, the grand bedroom with a desk and a computer and another bathroom. I love how there's always two bathrooms if there's two floors. I really think that's brilliant and genius. And honestly, I think living out uh, Katerina's story would be really cool. She's literally the game's crazy cat lady and I'm living, living for it. All right, next up, we're going to go to the Salty Paws Salon or Saloon, excuse me. And it says it's a cat hangout. So it makes me wonder if this is like a cat cafe, even though it says it's a bar. I'm really excited to see how this is going to go. I think I'm most excited for this location out of anything else on this map. So this is going to be good. Oh, also, let's read this really quick. From sailors to spaniels to Scottish folds, the Salty Paws Saloon is a neighborhood staple and a favorite hangout spot for locals, human or otherwise. Okay, so this looks like it is the front. Looks like a cute little bar that I would see out on a pier. Even the coloring, I swear there's something like this in like Newport or Laguna Beach. Uh, something that I've seen, I swear. Uh, let's see. It looks like seating, lots of seating, a little bar area back here. There is a little outdoor area with some grills there's a kitchen in the back, more like outdoor seating. So it says that cats can hang out here, but I see a lack of cat furniture. So that's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to see more cat related things. There's bathrooms upstairs and looks like that's it. Zero cat furniture was had, huh? I genuinely don't see anything. Like there's not even a cat tree, a toy. I think I would change that. I would want this to be more like a cat cafe if it were, dude, cat cafe. That's going to be on my list of things to build because cat cafe, like, why would I not want to do that if it's a possibility? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bummed out. I thought this was going to be more exciting, the Salty Paw Saloon, but that's okay. And last but certainly not least, we have the Club Calico, which let's read up on that. It says, previously an ex... Previously an exclusive yacht club for only the richest citizens of Brindleton Bay, a recent decree by Mayor Whiskers opened up this pool and wedding local for public use. Um, locale, I think is actually what that's supposed to say. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. So this area looks super nice. Let's zoom out of it. Like, look at how the entryway is done. Look at how, like, wow, I am significantly impressed. Is this a wedding area over here? Because, oh, girl, you know it is. There, you could put chairs out there. Oh, my God. That is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. The pool. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside at this club. But it looks really pretty from the in, or the outside. Okay, so it looks like we've got seating, like a little piano area. Maybe this would be like a reception slash check-in area. We have more seating. Uh, bathroom. There's a bar outside, some kind of like indoor outdoor seating. That's really cool. You like, I like that they kind of left this one open to the imagination. Like you could plan a really wonderful wedding venue at this location. Like this is really nice. And look at the views. Like I can't get over the views. I'm really happy they gave us a, a Bay area type place. I think that that was really, really, really wonderful and really genius and truly just a treat. Like I was really excited when they announced that that's what this was going to be just because I just think it's really like, it was such a good, like cool concept and just beautiful. And anyways, you guys, I hope that you like this video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at coffee YT. I'm communicating with you guys over there on the daily. So make sure you're following me. All those links are down below. And I just want to give a quick special thank you to my patrons over on Patreon who make all of my content possible by supporting me and my channel and all of my efforts. Thank you guys so very much. You're all very wonderful. And if you guys want to be patrons, please make sure again to check the below bar for links. Uh, it's really awesome. I'm able to give back to you guys in a way that I can't do anywhere else. And I will see you guys in a future video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye, you guys. Mm -hmm.